another video today I am playing a game called Unreal Tournament Black Edition and I am using the Hellfire SPAM or SPMA this is basically an artillery gun this is its proper use how I'm doing it right now but I don't do it like that because well it scatters afterwards but yeah so I just use it for normal shelling and reconnaissance. Like if I need to check something, I'll go into the mode I just showed you, but I, I'll i just do generic shelling of an area, like I'm doing right now. And the great thing about this game is that it's on the Unreal Engine, hence the reason why it's called Unreal Tournament 3. Now, this is a game from Epic, and surprisingly enough, this was running on GameSpy servers, no more. It's running on its own servers from Epic. Epic decided to keep these servers going, unlike some games where their servers were beheaded. And on occasion that happens. And yeah, I wasn't gonna hit anything there. La -di da -di da. But yeah, I want to try and keep this short, just for sake of I don't want to have a massive file size because I use fraps. And also. I don't want this to be a super long video. If if you want it to be a super long extra special, I can do that. Just me sitting right here shelling something until something dies. I mean, I guess I could do that, but then I would need to have my friend Didatrax83 or Delta6 help me out by uh, stitching each part together. Just a pain in the freaking ass. Seriously, I tried doing it. Nope. I, I won't do it anymore. I I just can't. Now, mind you, I do have a background in video editing, but that's for dismembering video, not for stitching it together. I mean, yes, I did have to stitch it. To wow, what was that? Mm. Yeah, not my favorite toy. Now, I can't remember what exactly that's called. However, I don't like it. Just watching that. Yeah, it hit its general area. See, that's what I call shell or a shotgun shelling because basically you fire a shell and then it proceeds to split as yep like that so shotgun shelling isn't my most favorite tactic in the world which is why I do it like this now so that a, I can see where the round travels, that way I know how to course adjust for the next shot, and also it allows me to do this. That's if the initial shot doesn't explode. For the record, the key I hit for the hoverboard was Q. I'm gonna borrow this tank real quick. You can have it back when I'm done. Like, I'm getting seven frames right now and it's holding. It's beautiful. And I have this set to a max frame rate of 999,000. Or no, 
9,999. That's its maximum frame rate right now. It is ridiculously high. Which is the reason why I want that as my now default setting for using fraps. I was thinking about setting it to 69.69, but no. I think I'll pass on that. Boop. Oh. Okay, then. Mm, looks like I'm staying back here. Need to take care of that art you got anyway, over there. Ah, close. Not even high enough. That, that hit, and now to fucking move, because if you look in the bottom left, right hand, left hand corner, sorry, um, this vehicle has 101 armor left. Uh, I don't want that. In fact, I've been able to take that thing out with one shot before from this thing, just your camera shell. That's basically all I've used to destroy that one time. It, take for granted, it was, for the most part, damaged already, but, hey, what, what can you do? Um, if you can hear the music in the background, hopefully not, that is the Nightcore version of Animal I Have Become. Although... That was probably pointless of me saying because I don't know if you can hear it or not. La -de -da -de -da. I'm also not timing this. I. God damn it. See, I love Overwolf and the fact that you can set timer. Like, there's a timer application and stuff like that. But it's just some of it is junk to me. You don't really like it. But some stuff like its recorder are very nice. And I've only messed with it like once or twice and eh. It's not the best in the world. I mean, the file. I still need to check and see how big the file size is for that. But for like a half hour recording. And I am now dead by a stinger minigun yes a stinger minigun you read and heard that correctly it's not a stinger like you think it would be no I'm sorry to kill your mood in fact once I get over to my toy over here or near it at least. This is the Stinger minigun. Basically three barrels three barrels the equivalent of three barrels. I don't know how that's going to English when my friend is stitching this together but hey. Oh and for the record I do have a premiere on this computer. Um, it's been, like, a year or so since I've used it, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to stitch it all together. I would love to, just not right now. <sighs> Mostly because I'm yawning and f finding a good spot to park so that I can... For the love of balls. Also, I do have a TeamSpeak server now. In fact, I might start up one for um, our Unreal server. Now, if you're not aware, my friend Delta6, or Digitrax83, has a 
Unreal server, Unreal 99 to be exact. And so, I am one of the admins, and I was thinking, well, I have a tab meant for Unreal 99 games, I have a server, so might as well use it to my advantage and just be like, okay, if you want to talk to each other, here, have this, and just set the default uh, to the link for um, the Unreal 99 server. So, what are your thoughts on that? If you don't use TeamSpeak, then start using it. It's very helpful. In fact, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in the top right-hand corner, there is a thing with my username, Unikasai. I am driving on a tank right now. I shouldn't be. How I knew that was a tank, don't question that. Even though I just questioned it. Logic, that's why. Anyway, if you don't use TeamSpeak, start using it, otherwise you deserve to die. And so, what are your thoughts on that? Would you be okay with that? Or should I make a whole new Overwolf user meant for just that particular thing? Granted, I don't mind doing it. Do I want to do that right now? No, because I'm actively playing artillery. And, haha! See, for those of you who have this game and didn't know that you could do that, yeah, now you can. Or now you know. I've gotten one aircraft kill, one armor kill, three even though I put up four fingers, three, um, infantry kills with this thing in the shelling mode, not the shotgun shelling. Don't ask why I keep track of stuff like that. My answer will be the same, period. Logic. That is why. I also like to... Oh boy! You can't get around me, so... You do that in... Wow, that that's just stupid. And it's a good thing I have God Mode on. However, if I'm in the passenger seat of this, um which is where you fire from, you don't have God Mode enabled, so I'll just let you figure that one out on your own. And... In fact... Boop. Nope, too low. Boop. Killed a person, but not my target. Still missing it. I'll get it eventually. Or not. I was killed by a stinger minigun. Who'd have thought? Uh, I'll get away from the artillery piece for now and I'll show you this thing. This thing has this mode, which you can easily drive. And then there's you can't fucking turn mode for the Goliath tank my favorite vehicle of the game beside well my second favorite my third is the paladin which is an electronic warfare vehicle and um obviously you know what my first is I was just using it for a little bit also, notice how I shot that thing out of the air with one shot. This thing is that powerful. It, it is a pride and joy of the Leandri Mining Co. And it's 
I adore the balls out of it. And that is until someone starts shooting at me from above. Bye bye! <laughs> See, I like this thing because I can aim, unlike the artillery gun where I can't because I don't have the UI for that. If, if you guys can come up with a mod for that, that would be great. I, I would just... I would gift you a game on Steam for free, and it'll be a game that I pick if you make me that mod, just so that I can aim down the freaking barrel. Also, Shell can go through um, chain link and not explode at the chain link. Now, granted, it is a game. However, just that little bit of realism would be nice. Please and thank you. I mean... The tings and stuff from this thing is nice. Yep, killing spree. And one thing that I like about this is that if I get the flag, I... There's only one vehicle. Hit Q. It's this thing. It's... If you hold down shift, you go faster. I think it's like 25% faster. I'm not sure. Uh, suggestion, have God Mode on while doing this. And make sure no one's flying above you going in the opposite direction like that. Hmm. Anyway. My name's Ben Admiral Meep. My friend Delta 6 isn't here. My username is spelled how it is sounded, but be advised that there are two M's in Meep, not one. Like Meep Meep. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Oh, that reminds me, I'm starting a tutorial series on how to read signals for the railroads so please do watch the first episode for that because that will be very important it's basically the glossary at the beginning of the book so yeah that's what's going on in the first episode And time to get out of here. La -di -da -di -da. Although, as I was saying, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing does help. What the balls? You know what? I'm tired of shit. I am tired of this shit. After playing Unreal for about six months, you start to know every command in the game. And you can't steal a locked vehicle. Balls. Ooh, what's that? Die pads. I've never actually equipped armor before in this game, so... This is a first for me. You know what, I'm just going to do this one last thing just to show you. Oh, this map is uh, VCTF, um, or Vehicle Capture the Flag Suspense. If you guys know what it is, I didn't need to tell you, but um, just as a quick note, if you hear anyone say VCTF, that usually means there's going to be a tank somewhere in the middle. Or on the ends. Like this, and no! Pfft. Hey, at least I'm on both my feet. Or all fours, I guess.
because there are four mechanical parts to my feet because I'm a Leandri sniper, I guess. And that that's now my my role. Um so yeah. Just to prove it to you guys that you can get up these suspensions most of the way. I'm gonna do that. Preferably without be falling off. L yeah. I oh, know. My friend is playing Black Scythe. Or my friend Black Scythe is fur. You know what? Screw this shit. Basically, you can go up those. You can go all the way up to here. The highest point on the map is the same exact place. It's this rim right around this glass. So, that is all. And... Oh, by the way. For the old players that played UT99 like me before playing this tilde is no longer your console command also this pisses me off now notice how I'm flying in the straight line just fine just moving the mouse slightly causes that now I gotta go bye